First, let's show a successful boot with the Librem key. The BIOS turns on, sends its measurements to the TPM. If they match, it unlocks a shared secret that turns into a six-digit HOTP code, which is sent to the Librem key. If it matches what the Librem key itself generated, you get a nice blinking green LED telling you that the BIOS hasn't been tampered with. So to simulate tampering, what we do is we assume the attacker has access to the laptop, but not the Librem key, so let's unplug that. The attacker, let's say they flash the bias with the malicious bias. If they do that, it will erase the TPM. So to simulate tampering, we will go in and act like that they have generated a new secret on the TPM so that to avoid the TPM warning. Since the Librem key isn't present, the secret on the TPM has been changed, but the secret on the Librem key is the old secret. And so if you reboot, Without the Librem key, first thing that will happen is we generate a warning to let the user know, hey, you should plug in the Librem key and test the BIOS. You're not required to. You can always boot and ignore the warning. But in this case, what we will do is we will plug in the Librem key and tell it to refresh the code. When it does that, since the secrets don't match, the code that it sends will be invalid, and the Librem key will flash bright red, um, and it will flash that continually warning you that the BIOS has been tampered with. Of course, this also works without having to reboot with the Librem key unplugged. So let's plug it in and then power on just to show you that it works the same way. So you take the laptop, we will plug it in and start fresh. So it's plugged in, we turn on the laptop. And as you turn on the laptop again, the bias sense measurements to the TPM. Um, since the secrets are not matching, it's as though it were tampered with. And when it's tampered with, you get a nice red screen on the laptop, which you should ignore. You should only trust the Librem key, but as you see, the Librem key flashes red.